Your project management skills and your networking skills are two critical skill sets for building your engineering career. In this short video, Jason Dunn, Chief Risk Officer at BRPH, is going to give you tips for developing both. So, uh, probably mid mid part of my career, I decided to leave the standard traditional engineering firm and go work for a construction management, program management firm, PMCM, owner's rep, those kind of things. And that's really where I learned the project management craft um, because I was um, involved with dealing with owners as their representative. And what that meant was I was their, their right hand. I would manage their entire project. That means design, that means construction, that means overseeing the construction all the way through closeout. So from start to finish, I learned how to manage an entire project, not just design, but the entire construction, the hard and soft cost, the entire program, if you will. And while that was tough and it was really pushing me out of my uh, comfort zone of being a technical engineer, that is where I really learned uh, the overall project management uh, strategy and approach uh, and, and at the same time dealing with owners uh, directly because I was their agent, if you will. So I learned a lot beyond just technical design. I learned construction, I learned issues dealing with the construction, I learned the proper closeouts, you know, getting certificates of, of occupancy and those sort of things. So it really increased my breadth of knowledge. Right. So that's something to think about in your career as an engineer is the type of job that you're in and the project situations that it puts you into can certainly drive the knowledge that you pick up and yeah. the experience and even the network of people you're meeting. And that's something we don't always think about when you're thinking about the job or even the position within your firm that you take on. Yes. The, you mentioned an important thing, the network of people. I would definitely encourage uh, folks who are listening to this to keep up to date with your network of folks because you never know when you'll run across them again. I'll, I will uh, mention a quick story to you, if you will. One of the largest projects I ever won was because of a phone call I made to one of my prior contacts at a previous firm to let her know I had changed positions in, a, in another firm and here's what we offer and you know, give me a call if you need help. You know, I'd, and this was a contact from five years prior that I hadn't reached out to, but we had a good relationship. The next day she called me and said, we have a 2000 acre project that the civil engineer is not performing on. Would you be able to help us out and finish this project out? And I said, absolutely. All from a, a strong network connection that I just maintained. So I would definitely encourage that as well. Well, there you have it. Think about the positions you get in in your jobs in terms of how you can develop the craft of engineering and project management knowledge, and also continue to build your network throughout your engineering career. It's not just to be done when you get to a manager level. In my opinion, you should be building your network throughout your career for all of the reasons that Jason just said. Thank you for sharing that with us, Jason. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.